I feel like you have an instinct to let go of something you were once possessive over. I feel like you seek the truth in a situation and for some of you, you no longer seek that truth. You have found some type of closure within, but someone is still unaware and going through a mental fog when it comes to you. This is a rebellious energy here. Rebellious without reason and they're lacking structure. This is someone who is sitting in a very violent or destructive space in life. Feeling blocked, not listening. There's mixed messages or mixed signals here with someone who is distracted and imbalanced. This energy is stressed and worried. This is someone who is blocked mentally and spiritually. And they could be staying stuck because they're in their mind or in their in some type of illusion when it comes to what is being exposed to them. Yet I do feel there's a sense of guilt for trying to control something. Hmm. This is someone who is going through a karmic storm. This karmic storm is a cycle of cause and effect. Someone is paying the piper. Someone is also being silent while they reap some type of awakening. Someone's reaping what they have sown after some type of illusion and they're staying stuck because they're stubborn. This is someone who is very emotionally immature and going through some type of panic, migraine, nightmare. This is an illusion because there is no growth. There's some type of scarcity within their life. They're insecure because of some type of greed, selfish behaviors. Someone could be struggling or going broke. Yet I feel there's also delays and distractions holding them back. Someone feels like they're being held back after a separation, a divide. They feel isolated from you or isolated from what they want. This is someone who feels like the floodgates are closing or has been closed. There's no access to you because someone is going through a dark night of the soul. I feel like this is a process that is very necessary or needed for someone who needs to go through a revelation or awakening. Yet I feel at this point, this energy could be feeling confused, crazy, lost, lost in a sense of despair. This is why they're isolating themselves because of the secrets. But I feel they're also dealing with an unhealthy ego. For some of you, this is the streets mentality here. Where someone is playing the big victim because something is completely backfired. This energy is blocked, feeling exposed, spiritually attacked. But I feel they were never protected because of their harsh behaviors, their fears, their doubts, and also something that they have attached to them. This could be a karmic energy, a karmic partner, or outside influences, friends, family. Please take it how it resonates. But this could also be an environment. There's aggressive energy here. Someone's needing to do some shadow work to ground themselves. Hmm. They could be seeking advice or reflecting on the fact that they didn't take some advice. Because now they feel depressed, drained. Hmm. Also, prideful. I definitely feel this is someone who needs to do the work. Yet they feel they need some type of release or relief. From something but I definitely get the energy of someone wanting out wanting out of a mess they made wanting out of a situation or some type of debt but I do feel this is someone who is withdrawn after causing a lot of spite or a lot of Hmm. Unpredictable tower moments here. Hmm. Someone feels like you have access to something. You have access to something that they want or need, but they're still withdrawn from you. This could be your attention. This could be help. This could also be someone who always chooses material things over love. They're very rigid. Hmm. Hasty at times. But again, love over money. Libra energy here. Please take it how it resonates. Someone thought they had options. Now they're spying, watching, 
This is a distorted energy who is needing to do the shadow work. You can also be dealing with a narcissist narcissist energy here who craves power this is someone who is very self-absorbed all about self a greedy energy who didn't see something coming bottom of the deck energy here someone is definitely at a crossroads this is someone who is at a crossroads because of their selfish ways self-destructive behaviors or tendencies hmm. but i also feel this energy didn't listen Hmm. I feel like they didn't listen when given wise advice or they simply chose to do things their way. Yet I feel what they couldn't understand or acknowledge is now being received through blood, sweat, and tears. There's a lot of confusion because they're not wanting to acknowledge something from the past, but they're at a crossroads. This is someone who is at a crossroads when it comes to situations, life, money, secrets here with the moon card. We also have cancer energy here. Please take it how it resonates. But this is someone who is carrying guilt, addictions, feeling overwhelmed by choices. This is someone who is emotionally unstable and lacking. There's a lot of anxiety. Sexual dysfunction, please take it how it resonates. Someone feels like they are not capable. Someone feels like they're caught in the matrix. Confusion, someone took the wrong path. Now they're feeling blocked, restricted for not listening. Hmm. And I feel this energy is still attracted to a soulmate, a connection, a close bond. This could also be past life energy. Please take it how it resonates. But someone misses a connection. Someone misses your affection, your truth, your genuine nature. This is someone who now wants to take a U-turn. Come back your way. I feel like they're at a crossroads about that. Deep thought about how to make their way back to you. But I feel they're running out of options. They're feeling unstable, unbalanced, and sitting in a space of fear because of the tower moment. Oh. Wow, we have the emperor here. Someone was not stepping into their power and decisive energy here because they're being stubborn. Someone was trying to make a point that was completely pointless. This is someone who made the wrong move, and now they may need to ask for help. There's a lack of growth, money issues. Something is crumbling. They're with the wrong energy, the wrong environment, the wrong partner. Someone feels bankrupt emotionally and spiritually, but they're trying to hide it. But I also feel it's painfully obvious. We also have a turn moment. Someone did something too much, gave in too little, manipulating situations, destructive behaviors when it comes to sex or addictions. Someone was down low when they did this. Hmm. And they still might be sitting in that energy. For some of you, you may feel like this energy has some type of mental illness. And for others, you feel like this energy is not too smart because they took the wrong way here. Because they're unaware of their gifts. There's major choices here when it comes to a soulmate energy, a kindred spirit, a partnership, a relationship, something that was honest, a shared energy, loyalty, values until this energy switched up on you. Now they're lacking success because they were unaware. Hmm. So I feel like someone was thinking they were going to step into some type of energy here, but there's a lack of achievement, a lack of accomplishes, accomplishment and no closure within something. Now there's bad fortune for their bad memory. This energy is anxious, having panic attacks and sitting in a space of scattered energy. They're unfocused and stressed because they feel like they've hit rock bottom. A space of poverty or a poverty mindset. Someone may be homeless or bouncing around. This is someone who has made a lot of poor decisions and they may need to seek shelter or help when it comes to finances. But I feel this is someone who is in a space of lack because they're irresponsible. Co <laughs> wow. Codependent and having a lot of reckless emotions. Someone regrets being stubborn with you.
because now they're dealing with the fear, doubt, and imbalance of their anxieties. I feel like this is someone who is not sitting in the present right now. They're sitting in a space of stress, wanting to release something, but there's something holding them back. Even if this is their self-doubt or someone in their space keeping them in low vibrational energy, someone is moody, snappy, and over-emotional. This is someone who is very easy to upset right now because things are not going their way and they're not getting validation. I also feel like there is a sense of sadness where there should be peace. There's pain. There's pain behind a breakup. There's bad news. Someone knows they wasted their time and their talents in the wrong direction. There could also be some type of issue with um, bloodline. Someone did something very reckless. Made a choice that has lasting consequences here. But they were sitting in their ego, living from a space from where they were weak and not working from a place of purpose. As I said before, this is someone who has isolated themselves because they are unawakened, but wanting, wanting change. This is someone who is wanting change, but they don't have a lot of tools to do so. They're still reckless, possibly still attached to those that need to be put away or released. But I feel like they're starting to see they're running out of options. And the fact that they know they're running out of options is causing them to be a bit distorted. Hmm. I feel this distortion may lead them in a path of manipulation. Because they still lack direction, but there is a sense of want or need where they feel something is scarce. Hmm. But there's childish energy here. We have Gemini as well. Please take it how it resonates. We're going to grab another deck here. Let's get some more energy here. Holy Spirit, what's the message here? I definitely feel this is someone who wants to make a U-turn. They're at a crossroads, but I feel... This energy knows better. They're just not doing better. Let's get some energy here. So someone is definitely thinking about a feminine energy here. Someone is thinking about a feminine energy and wanting to send you love. Oh. So I definitely feel there is intense vibes here. I feel like there are intense vibes here and someone still sitting in a space where there is messy behaviors. But as I said before, this is someone who do has the intention or the emotions. <sighs> they want to show you love. But I feel like they're overthinking something when it comes to your energy. Something is very intense when it comes to between the two of you. Someone is trying to read between the lines when it comes to the past, but they're just laughing it off. They're not taking it serious because there's too many unfamiliar emotions attached. This is someone who really doesn't have the tools to get through this alone. So they're just hiding in the shadows. Still lacking completion emotionally and spiritually. But I can feel this is someone who regrets testing you. Regrets testing you or stepping into the flames as they seek sympathy or forgiveness, yet their thoughts and memories are always leading them back to you. This is why they want to send you love. Send you love after a tower moment that they know they caused, but this is someone who feels like you don't even want to hear it. Hmm. There's great, great distance here. Whether that's physically, emotionally, or spiritually, someone is not as connected as they used to be. 
there's years here for some of you. Hmm. For some of you, it's just been too long. But as I said before, their thoughts and memories of better moments of their life always lead them back to the thought of you. Yet for many of you, this energy is so unsettled by mistakes and their losses that they're not realizing their current environment or choices isn't making things any better. In fact, I sense this energy is about to do something to escape a problem or a mess. Hmm. But I feel like it's just going to make things messier. Still putting on a show. Observing. So instead of talking, someone is observing. Still putting on a show. Still trying to pretend they're not affected. Someone is putting on a show pretending to be attacked or affected by something that's still shutting you out. This energy is muted. They're not saying anything. And for some of you, they could be holding a grudge or some sort of resentment. Still trying to prove a point. But I feel they're not talking about something. They're not talking about something that they know they need to speak on or speak out about. They are mute about hidden dangers. This energy is still living in the fast lane and trying to fit in. And they're looking past you. They're looking past you because they're going down this rabbit hole. This rabbit hole of bad choices and a false persona. Wow, this is someone who is hiding behind the mask, but I feel they're about to understand you were the only one who really understood or something. Hmm. You meant more than they thought. You're an earth angel, something otherworldly. Yet this energy is still not coming for your energy. They're still not coming for your heart because they are still lost. Misguided, misdirected, and feeling like they have to go it so long. Someone feels like they're still attached to you somehow, not wanting you to level up, but they feel like you're just over it. Something is too damaged or something is too complicated to sort through. There's too many broken promises. Hmm. But someone is still analyzing something even though they feel empty inside. This is someone who chose to make a lot of choices, but they were not ready for the consequences. They were not ready for what was to come. And as I said before, they're very unsettled about the losses they had to take. Let's get some final energy here. Someone does want to meet up with you, but they feel like you don't have the time of day. Someone wanted, wants to entice you. But I feel like for some of you, you would take an offer. You would take some type of conversation or even some type of understanding of what's going on. But this energy is hot and cold, in and out, and very unpredictable. For some of you, you could be waiting on a sign or they could be waiting on a sign. I'm not sure here. But someone is ready to... Release and surrender. Because someone is being too childish about this situation. <laughs> Dark intentions. For some of you, you feel like you've given them too many chances to prove you wrong. They never prove you... They never prove you wrong. They always prove that you are right when it comes to their deception or their betrayals. Never seeking transformation. Someone is still thinking about you. But there's still some type of agenda. They're analyzing. And you know, you're, they know you're over this. Someone knows that you're rare. But they're sitting in this very 
misogynistic energy and their heart is still guarded. They're lacking drive, wanting more, all in their head when it comes to a casual fling or a third party or an environment that they cannot release, but they know that they are not on the same page as the energies surrounding them. Someone was like, you know, I was just trying to blow off steam, but something went too far and this energy still is, they're just not letting something go. But I feel something is starting to kick in because they can't find their light. They can't find their peace and they're wanting to escape something. Escape artist energy here. Somebody's about to pull a Houdini because they feel dead inside. They feel like something is dying between the two of you or something is dying within them, but they're trying to play it cool. Someone is trying to not be obvious about something, but trying to reject what they're thinking and feeling is blocking something out. I feel like this is someone who is blocking out what they need to focus on. I feel like this is someone who needs to be focusing on forgiveness, truth, being a better person or a, a better partner instead of holding secrets. Someone needs to give an apology, a truth, a real heart to heart that is obviously overdue. As I said before, someone is trying to block something out and they're trying to play it cool, but their light is being blocked. They know it. And this is why they feel something is not on the right page. They're guarded. But I feel they're guarded towards the wrong one, which may be you. Because as I said before, this is someone who's trying to play it cool, blocking you out, trying to laugh something off. But this energy is stuck in the past, knowing something with you was otherworldly. It was more than what they have now. And for many of you, this is something that they reflect on. The third party was never worth it. Hmm. We're going to grab a, another deck, a little bit more confirmation for you guys, if you are sticking around. Let's get some energy here. Holy Spirit, what are the messages here for those who need more clarification? So, for many of you, this feels like someone who's blocking you out because they're dealing with other situations. If this is third-party energy here, this third party could be putting them to do a bit of turmoil. There's back and forth here as well. Someone is very indecisive, even though they know that you are rare. A diamond in a rough. Hmm. Hmm. Someone's waiting on a test. This could be a paternity test or... Um, a test of faith, whatever this is, someone's trying to grow and wanting to be admitted into your life after throwing something away. But I feel like this is someone who didn't fight for it because they thought they had choices. They thought they had more to gain or hmm, receive. So they threw something away with you. Toss something out. Hmm. But I feel when they toss something out with you, along with it, went their heart. As I said before, this is someone who's going through a lot. They're all in their head. They're trying to block what they feel, but they can't. I feel like you're running miles in their, their head. They can't get rid of the thought of you, even if they're trying to play cool or not wanting to admit what they're feeling. They can't hide it. They can't escape what they feel. I feel like whatever it is is drawing them closer to what they need to do, but it's still some type of resistance here. But I feel to escape a problem or a mess they made, they may try to do some things that takes things down a darker path. I feel like this could take them to a dark place or bring them to their knees as their reckoning may have already started. Because this energy is trying to be strong. But they feel like something is wasted away. I, I also feel there is Scorpio energy here. There's Libra energy here. Venus is in Aquarius. There's also Libra, Pisces, Cancer. Please take in how it resonates. But someone is wanting to set the record straight. They know they should have been spoken by now. But they are caught up in something. 
they're caught up in a situation they manipulated. This is someone who is caught in a situation they manipulated and there could be law enforcement involved. They're trying to brainstorm how to bring something your way or admit something. And for some of you, they're trying to figure out how to burn the evidence. Someone is trying to shorten their hand. They don't want you to know how deep something goes. But as I said before, this rabbit hole goes deep. Someone really push the limits on how far they could push you or how far they could go in their lies, their manipulation. But I feel this energy ran. They ran and they're still running. As I said before, whatever this is, this could either lead them out of a dark place or bring them to their knees. But whatever it is, they can't run from this. They can't brainstorm their way out of this or talk their way out of this. They can no longer guard their heart or their soul because something is about to explode. Something is about to go up in flames. Someone's trying to write it out with a copycat or someone that is similar to your energy. This could also be a bugaboo. Someone they feel they can't get rid of. But these bad choices are also haunting them. These bad choices, their insecurities, their fears. And for many of you, this energy feels like they're under attack. Spiritually and mentally. Financially, emotionally. Because everything, and I mean everything, it's falling apart. Their mental state, their finances, their stability, the way that others look at them. This energy pulled a lot of strings and it took them nowhere. As I said before, they are still trying to put on a show. Pretend that they're not affected. Pretend that they are not sitting in misery. But I feel something has already expired. Something is old news. Something needs to be discarded. And someone needs to check themselves. Because their betrayals run deep. And they know it. This is something they can't hide or burn away because something that is done in the dark will always come to light. Someone's angry. Someone's angry because they feel you know more than you're saying or it's just their paranoia. But I definitely feel many of you are standing your ground. Ready for battle, ready for war, ready to protect yourself because you're over something, you're over a fake ap apology or the fact that you, you haven't even received one. And you're over the fact that this energy is wanting to vent. They know they screwed up. And you're tired of being the only adult about it. You're not into the games or the toxic ways. And as I said before, many of you are just cautious. Because you're no longer into the games they play. There's no more compromise. Only action. No more drama. As you align yourself. Someone's in fear of something. Someone feels like you're keeping something a secret. Or someone regrets keeping you a secret. But it's no longer a time to announce something. Because something is already going to be revealed. Someone is recording hmm, during a separation or wanting to hold something against someone. When it comes to a promise, someone doesn't want you to attract more than what they gave. Because they hate nothing about you. They just couldn't stand up for you. Hmm, too many fake friends has caused this energy to have a complete nightmare. They're surrounded by haters and there's a lot of arguments. This energy is broken. They feel like something is game over. They're sick about it. They're sick about something when it comes to family. Someone regrets taking advantage of you or not speaking the truth. They're depressed because they have a lot of love here. But they feel like you've kicked them to the curb. Something is too far gone they're in their feelings they feel like they were too spoiled and now you don't want to hear it <laughs> even if they attempt to come in after you this is someone who has been guarded for too long and they know you're tired of the drama you're tired of the drama you're tired of the pain and this energy is just 
sitting in a space of worry because they know things are falling apart, not just in their life, but with you. I feel like no one could do it better. No one can take your place. Copycat energy, this is a fail. This was a fail, a complete fail. Someone missed the assignment completely. Someone cannot duplicate you, even if they tried. Let's get some final energy here. As I said before, this is someone who may already be going through an awakening. And they may have already set a plan into play to escape something. But I still feel there needs to be a truth. Clarity. When it comes to someone who is still keeping secrets. Paranoid. Someone is paranoid about the separation. There's a lot of secrets here. And this is why they're still trying to hide something. Someone doesn't want everything to be revealed. Someone feels like they can give you bits and pieces of the facts. But this energy is not prepared to give you all of it. Hmm. But I feel like it's a make or break situation here. And someone is trying to put things together, but it's still not making any sense. But I feel they're starting to feel like they have nothing to lose. But even if their heart is pure, even if their heart is pure of wanting you back or wanting some real changes here, things are just not, I feel like this is just not the right time. I feel like they're, in, they're still in the season of paying a heavy price. A heavy price for what they have done in their past as well as what they're doing right now because things are still all over the place, scattered, unstable. Hmm. And for many of you, they're still trying to understand their own lies because they've told a lot of lies and kept a lot of secrets. Someone felt like keeping something a mystery would cause you to want them more or reach out or drive you crazy enough to just come towards them. But I feel it's done just the opposite. I feel you lost respect, which is worse than you being mad at them. I feel like this is someone who has a lot of destructive behaviors when it comes to keeping something a secret. They're very reckless when it comes to being oblivious, blinded, clueless to how ties were severed with you, how something was broken with you. But I feel someone is sitting in a space of being a risk taker, yet now they're paranoid and on the edge, obsessed. Hmm. Obsessed by what is hidden. They want to conceal something. But it's giving shady energy here. I also feel like they could be trying to hide something when it comes to a third party. Some manipulation. Someone was clever. They feel like someone got over on them. They don't want you to know something. I feel like you were right about something and they are trying to hold it back. There's emotional pain. Deception. Someone strategizing. Trying to figure something out. There's a game plan here, but it's not a good one. There's a lot of flirtatious energy here. Someone's trying to come in with jokester energy, but they're still holding something back. Hoardings, being stingy or selfish. But someone is being elusive when it comes to temptation or seduction. How something was lost because something ended abruptly. This is unfinished business, unresolved unre issues of someone who has a lot of losses after there was no compromise. Someone took a lot of risks. Someone took a lot of risks where there was no reward. However, I do see justice playing out here. There will be profound change, transformation within an illusion. There will be a rebirth. But I feel for now, there is solitude. There is solitude because this energy is stubborn and full of stress. 
trying to figure out their rigid ways. This energy was fearless, careless, and abandoned you. There is ne negligent energy here. Someone regrets being negligent because you were patient. Now they're humiliated. Standoffish because they know they were not loyal. They're stuck with the memories. They're in opposition. Still trying to be stubborn, hoping that they will get you to come out of the woodworks. But as I said before, you're focused on self or family or something that is more productive than the energy they bring. Because they're stuck. Stuck in a space of judgment because they fail to communicate. Hmm. This is someone who is a handful. And as I said before, you've been patient. You tried to compromise. You've done so much to try to get this energy to see a truth. Truly understand your position, yet this energy failed you too many times. Because of illusions, there are parties. There's a separation. And for some of you, you had to separate ties. This is someone who was sitting in a space of grief, thinking something would never change, and they cheated. They were um, abusive, mentally, physically, financially. This energy felt like you owed them something, when you owed them nothing. Nothing but what you chose to give them, yet this energy was never satisfied. This energy was never satisfied and always looking for more. This is the final energy, Holy Spirit. What is the message here, Holy Spirit? What is the message? Something is coming out as counterfeit, fallen angels. Someone feels they fell from grace. Something was wavering in their spirit and they took the bait. Someone regrets not being in position or not respecting the position that you offered or gave them because now you have taken it back. I feel they feel like you took your power back. You took your energy back. You took it all back and they regret that. Hmm. Yet I feel this energy should have never bit the hand that fed them. Someone who was there in every way. They should have never wavered when it came to you. Yet this energy never thought they would lose you. Now they're in a space where they're carrying a heavy load. Trying to understand why they hurt you in the first place. Hmm. But I feel now that they know that you are... Highly ranked or spiritually protected and finally realizing and understanding your cut, <laughs> your cut off game is nothing to play with. This energy is seeing a truth, a truth of their reality that is getting harder every day to accept. Because now they think about the damage they cause and try, they try so hard to block out how things made you feel and they know they crossed you and they also know they crossed the line with you. Yet they're going to have to learn some things the hard way. This is someone who's going to have to learn the hard way when it comes to taking the easy way out, manipulating situations, or just not speaking the truth. As what's about to happen or take place will be of their own undoing. As they have yet to learn to face their problems head on, yet it seems they're putting themselves in position to receive some harsh, harsh consequences that trust me, they're unprepared for. These are things they should already know, but chose to see the truth. Hmm. Possibly seeing karma in its truest form.
Someone thought they were going to talk their way out of this. There's sharp objects here. Someone thought that they were going to be sharp or cutthroat. Or someone feels like that's your energy of being sharp or cutthroat. This energy feels like a social outcast. Someone feels alienated. Quarantined. Someone feels like they're going through a very heavy situation alone. And they're sitting in a space of misery, stonewalling you because they feel like you left them behind. They feel washed up, corrupted by these pipe dreams or some type of entanglement. They feel like something is a fortress. They have free will, but they feel like they can't get out of something. They can't get out of an illusion or some type of situation where they want to believe something is real, but it isn't. And until they see the truth, it'll just be a kiss of death. It'll be the kiss of death for someone who feels there's corruption surrounding them, but they're doing nothing about it. For many of you, this is someone who is going down quick. This is quicksand, torment. Someone feels like they should have never scorned you. They should have never broke your heart or taken you for granted because it's gloom and gloom from here. Final cut. They want something to be final when it comes to a tyrant or someone they would rather release. But this energy has put themselves in a space where they have to complete a cycle. Complete a cycle that they chose. Whether it was by default or not, someone chose the path that they are on. And regardless of the fact, they're going to have to complete whatever has been done or whatever they took place in. But there is no easy way out. Not the way that they think. I feel the, easy, the easiest way out will put them in a space where they feel their ego or their pride is affected. And for many of you, that's all they have. The very reason they're beside themselves and feeling crazy now because they're attached to an ego or pride that was never worth anything in the first place. This is someone who should have been working from a space of love, peace, their soul, <laughs> which seems to be fractured right now because of their dated ways. Someone tried to have an iron fist within a situation. Now they feel left behind and quarantine from you. Someone feels like they no longer have access. Someone feels like someone's taking, taking what little they have, what little they've collected because they don't have their own. And for those that do, they are missing something. They feel like someone is taking something from behind the scenes. So they feel like they're dealing with a head case or someone who's missing some screws. But I feel like whoever this is, they're equally crazy or equally askewed. Quarantine with someone they are wanting to leave behind as well. But I feel there's a lot of jaded energy here. I feel they could also be over their head. Over their head when it's dealing with a situation. <laughs> and they know they should have never taken you for granted. Someone should have never given into the smoke and mirrors. Because now they are on the edge. Possibly playing with sharp object. Please take it how it resonates. That is not for everyone. But someone is dealing with some deep flesh wounds. This is painful. And I also feel it's becoming painfully obvious. That they're overpowered. They're feeling like the bad seed. Feeling like it's an eye for an eye. And they're submerged in something that they are wanting to escape. Something is definitely going at a snail's pace. Someone is being cold-blooded. There could be violence. There could be emotional abuse, uh, verbal abuse. Please take it how it resonates. But someone is trying to get in their head. And I feel they've completed that assignment. Because this energy feels like a fool. Someone feels like they're on this journey alone. And as I said before, this is someone who has made some foolish mistakes. And taken the wrong route to try to get what they want. Because they ended up with nothing but a journey of darkness. 
this energy feels like they've quarantined themselves in a very toxic or jaded situation and they're checked out mentally, emotionally, physically. There's nothing going on there. They feel like it's an eye for an eye or someone's put a curse on them, yet this energy is dealing with some real karma. Someone never thought that something would happen to them, but they feel like their life is on fire. Mentally, they feel like something is set ablaze. They feel like a sacrificial lamb or they regret sacrificing what they had with you and now they're trying to set some fires. Viral energy here for someone who is playing with fire and feeling like there's a blackout. Someone is having night terrors because of the misfortune. Someone feels like there's a dark hole in their life. But to complete it, this energy needs to go within. There's a lot of warfare within and a warfare surrounding this energy because something's about to go up in flames. Something's about to go up in flames while someone is playing with fire thinking they can't get burned. But trust me, this pyro energy, this energy is setting these small fires thinking that nothing will happen. But something's about to come to a harsh end here with the tower moment. Someone's in hermit energy trying to figure something out, but as I said before, their choices, their movements, it's not making any changes. They're just trying to get rid of the pain, the night terrors. They can't sleep, they can't eat, they're worried. Someone's having bad hygiene, they're checked out, deadlocked on something, deadlocked on making changes and escaping through the fire. Someone's setting little fires and hoping not to get burned, but this energy had no idea things will get this bad because trust me it's going up in flames yet this energy is at a boiling point hmm. but at the end of this at the end of the misfortune the tears the fears the pain the sorrow nothing will remain but their misery and the memories of scorning you or stabbing you in the back because it was all doom and gloom from there. Quicksand, because someone was caught in an illusion or an entanglement. Now they feel washed up because of the corruption, tyrant energy of someone who feels they are a fallen angel. They sacrificed everything they had for nothing. Someone is sitting in self-loathing energy, feeling like they're alienated, but they stonewalled you. This is someone who pushed you away and resents you for accepting it someone feels like you didn't fight enough but you you were the only one fighting they are just upset that you finally gave in you finally gave in to you instead of them now this energy feels like a social outcast for their wicked ways they're crying or very emotional yet still muzzled not telling the full truth because they're still mind games. But as I said before, this is someone who's sitting in a space of spiritual warfare. And for many of you, this is someone who's ready for change, but unprepared to do the work. So they may be sitting in a space where they're setting small fires in their life to create sympathy or just an exit. An exit that really doesn't even have a plan. This is someone who is trying to get out of something or get some type of help and they're just doing it the wrong way. I feel like this is someone who burned a bridge with you so, so many times with so many people. Something was bound to happen so they can finally see the truth. But I feel these fires and the chaos they have caused are not issues or problems they're capable of controlling. So they just might see everything go up in flames to finally get a grip on the pain. Someone's trying to get a grip on the pain they have caused by trying to get out of something in a very traumatic way, but it will only bring more pain. But this pain may also bring them to a reaper. As I said before in this reading, this may bring them out of a dark place or bring them to their knees. Yet either way, they will find a way to get the message. Because this karma, this karma is going to be very effective for 
from what I see. Because things going up in flames. This is this will be very unexpected because they're already going through misfortune. And they're trying to get a grip on it. They're trying to keep things together. But this pain is just becoming too much to deal with. But I also feel they need to understand the pain they have caused and the trauma they bring and the spiritual and mental debt they've collected along the way. It's real. Which means the dream they were sold or tried to sell is clearly a nightmare that will soon become more than reality yet a turning point or lasting destination yet either way their lessons here these lessons won't soon be forgotten i hope you guys have enjoyed the message